Hi, today I'm going to show you how to iframe galleries from Power Gallery into various websites. When you buy Power Gallery, you get one license and you can only run the admin section on one domain. However, an administrator can create as many galleries as they want and they can put them on as many, the galleries on as many domains as they want um, as long as they iframe them in. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have Power Gallery all set up and you've created at least one gallery. So here you can see um, everything is working. I've got my admin section here. I have added uh, one gallery of photos called Retreat. So the first thing you'll want to do is uh, choose a design for this gallery. One of the restrictions of iframing this in is the entire gallery has to fit within the iframe. So using a small ribbon like this, the ribbon and light box um, technique would not be great because you have a very small ribbon and then a, and then a big modal window pops up to show you a pop-up. So the iframe would have to be as big as the entire modal window. So you're going to want to use this more with like grid plus full size or uh, a gallery like that. So I'm going to go ahead and actually use grid plus full size. I'm going to use the light setting. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is click on preview. So you can see all my photos are coming up here. Everything looks good. This is what I want. I'm going to take this URL and copy it with control C or command C. Then the next thing I'm going to want to do is open Dreamweaver, set up the page I want to put the iframe on. Now one of the great things is you can use an HTML or PHP page. Um, the gallery you know, is actually running from a different location, so it doesn't have to be a PHP page. So I'll even show you how to do this um, as an HTML page. So I've got my blank page here. The first thing I want to do is insert an iframe. You can go to insert, HTML, frames, iframe. And that'll just put the simple iframe tags on the page for me. If I refresh the property inspector, I get some attributes I could add there, but not the main one I need, which is source. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just type it in. You're going to want to do source, src, equals, and then in quotes, we're going to paste the URL that we just copied over from the browser of where our gallery actually lives. Now you can see here, I'm just doing this from localhost. Technically, this would be on a remote server somewhere that you could actually um, read it in from. So that might be www.webassist.com or wherever you've uploaded Power Gallery to. There are a couple other things that you're going to want to add to the iframe tag. I would recommend adding width, height, border, and overflow. So I'm going to add a style to the iframe tag. I'm going to want to do style equals quotes, and we'll do width 100%, height, let's try 900 pixels. You can preview it and see if you need to change it. We're going to do border zero because by default, the, the iframe border is kind of an ugly gray border that you probably don't want around it. You can obviously change these attributes to be what, what you want them to be. And we're going to add overflow hidden, which will keep scroll bars from popping up within the iframe. Those are all of the attributes you need. I'm going to go ahead and save the page. Let's call it gallery three. And again, you can see this is just an HTML page. I'm going to go ahead and preview it in a browser now. And you can see this is iframed in on the page. Everything's working here. So that is my tutorial for how to iframe a gallery in. You can repeat the steps as many times as you want. You can iframe the same gallery into different domains, or you can 
uh, set up multiple galleries in your Power Gallery admin, and then just repeat those steps to put an iframe on every page that you want them, no matter how many domains there are. So I hope this tutorial was helpful today. If you need any assistance, check out our technical support forums and we'll help you through the steps. Thank you.